Let's play Wheels vs Doors! The aim of Wheels vs Doors is to be the first player to collect 10 wheel tokens or 10 door tokens by staking your playing chips on fascinatingly random stats. What are there more of in the world? Airports or hippos, bristles on a toothbrush or varieties of cheese, rivets in the Eiffel Tower or characters to have appeared in The Simpsons? It's time to find out! You need at least two people to play, but if you have enough people you can pair up for even more fun. Pick a set of chips and the youngest player becomes the first dealer, who'll place the dealer chip in front of them. Everyone selects three tokens chosen at random from the pile. The dealer's first job is to shuffle the yellow versus cards and turn over any two at random. We now have a versus situation. In this example, it's two versus four. Grab the top card from the question pile and read out the two categories on the black side of the card. In this instance, it's movies featuring the rock versus casinos on the Vegas Strip. Going in a clockwise direction, the teams now place their bets one at a time. The dealer always bets last. To bet, players or teams must place their chosen number of chips onto one of the two versus cards, depending on which there are more of in the world. Debating is encouraged. Once all bets have been placed, the dealer turns over the card to reveal the white side and reads out the results of the two versus categories. For example, there are more casinos on the Vegas Strip than movies featuring The Rock. The players or teams that guess correctly win as many tokens as chips they bet. These wheel or door tokens are chosen from the pile at random. If players or teams guess incorrectly, they have to give back as many wheels and doors tokens as the chips they bet. And it's up to them to decide which tokens they hand back. If players or teams lose all of their tokens, they can still bet the maximum bet on the next round to try and get back in the game. At the start of the game, teams are limited to betting a maximum of two chips per round. After the dealer chip has completed one full lap of the players or teams, the limit increases to four chips. Players or teams must bet at least one chip per round. If players or teams have fewer wheels or doors tokens than the maximum bet, it doesn't matter. They can still bet the maximum number of chips, just remember they run the risk of losing everything. Keep playing until one team has collected 10 wheel tokens or 10 door tokens. And if two or more opponents both get to 10 at the same time, the winners will be the ones with most tokens overall. And if you still find yourself in a draw, then play on until one team gets to 12 wheels or doors tokens. And that's how you play Wheels vs Doors!